Hi beautiful, I know so many of you suffer from hair loss, either from having COVID or maybe it's just hereditary. Hair loss can happen for so many reasons, but don't worry, it's not the end of the world and I am here to help you. But you must take some precautions in order to mitigate the problem before it gets worse. So today we're going shopping at my local drugstore to find some products that will help you with your hair loss problem. So. Let's go. Okay, we have made it to Walgreens. Let's see what we have in the aisles. Also, I get really embarrassed recording in public, so if I look awkward, that's because I feel awkward and I hate every moment of it. Okay, so first I'm gonna look at brushes and we're gonna get probably a good little detangling brush, check. We're gonna get a boar bristle brush. Okay, yeah, this is good, this is good. Perfect, we have a scalp brush thing. I don't know what these are called actually. Um, a shampoo brush, I guess? Scent free scrunchies. Now, let me go on run and get some dry shampoo. I actually like the Batiste dry shampoo, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of good. I'm just gonna get the original one. I think that's the one I like. I, I haven't used it in a bit, so I'll put that in the bag. Let's get some cleansing shampoo. That is very gentle for the hair. This one actually says it's for a hair growth, so I'm gonna put that in the bag. Oh, they have a little salicylic acid shampoo. That is great for dandruff, and it can be great for some hair loss issues. What else we got here? Okay, we got a silk bonnet. Cool, let's put that in. And um, a few other things. Oh, they have a Noxidil here. All right, let me get the fuck out of here. My social anxiety is peaking right now and uh, <laughs> I don't want to do it anymore. So um, there are people staring at me and I need to go. I'll see you when I get home. We're back. Let's go through the bag. So I think I got some good stuff and I think I'm really gonna help you out. It's been a while since I've shopped for anything hair related in a drugstore, but I was kind of impressed with the selection. There's actually some really good products in there and some things I wanna show you to help with hair loss. We picked up a detangling brush. This baby is great, guys. They're so underrated, these detangling brushes. Oh my God. I remember a time where there weren't detangling brushes like this. They weren't so well known. I love the Tangle Teaser ones. I just feel like the bristles are really great. I feel like it's high quality and it's light and it's nice. It feels good in my hand. It's a good vibe. This really helps prevent excess hair loss because the bristles are nice and bendable and it's not gonna pull the hair out of your scalp. A lot of people will really roughly pull on their hair and it will come out. If you pull your hair really Really hard with a brush, especially when it's wet. It's fragile as shit and very elastic. If you pull it when it's wet, it will come out of your scalp or it will break off really close to your scalp and you do not want that to happen. So we are gonna help that situation by starting at the ends of our hair and brushing up. And if there is really, really tangled parts of your hair, please do not try to get it out while your hair is wet. Allow your hair to air dry a bit and then work on the tangles. Or work on those tangles when your hair is 100% dry because your hair will not be as elastic and can take a lot more tugging. Usually hair that is thinning is very, very fragile and very fine. So you want to make sure you're not putting extra tension on it and this is really going to help the situation. Another one in our brush category is this boar bristle brush. These bristles help distribute oils in your hair, allowing your hair to really soak in that sebum, which is so good for your hair and so good for hair growth. You want to let those natural oils out. If you also wear your hair in ponytails a lot, this helps prevent extra breakage by not pulling on your hair too much. These bristles are also really soft and really bendable, so you're not going to put extra tension on your hair. You're gonna get that oil moving throughout. And it's kind of just brushing the surface of your hair where a lot of brushes go really deep and you end up pulling on more hair than you actually need to. This is great for people like me who have a very, very fragile hairline. And if you put any kind of even like a detangling brush on it when it's dry, oh my God, it will pull, it will hurt and it I will lose hair. I will have 10 hair strands on my brush. I always use something made out of boar or a synthetic and boar mix, something like that to not put too much attention on my hairline. I love these scalp brushes for shampooing, but I use them for so many different things. If you've never seen one of these before, this is what they look like. They have these little bendable, little prickly things on here, but they feel so good on your head. Oh God, it gives me chills, I love it. This is great for when you're shampooing. It helps really clean up that scalp. If you have a clean scalp, it really helps with hair growth. That doesn't mean you should wash it every day. You should wash your scalp at some point because sometimes you can get buildup on your scalp, preventing your hair from growing. When you're shampooing your hair, sometimes your hair 
can snag on your nails if you have a sharp nail or a little bit of a hang nail situation going on. Also, your nails can be a bit too abrasive for your scalp. Your scalp is pretty sensitive and can't really take a lot of that aggressive movement. These soft bristles help you so that you're not putting any abrasions on your scalp or being too rough on it. You don't want to put little cuts in your scalp. It's just not good for it. You want to take care of that scalp. If you love your scalp, your scalp will love you back and produce more hair and it'll be a great relationship you guys have. This also stimulates your scalp's capillaries. This will also help with blood circulation and helps nourish your hair follicles with oxygen and nutrients. There was one point where I was using this twice a day and I was just going like this throughout the day. First of all, it feels so good and you can do it at any time while you're working at the office. Who cares if people judge you, whatever. It was helping my hair grow so much. I would Whoa, girl. I really need to do it again. Um, I don't even know why I stopped, but yes, these things are great. Let's get into hair products. Dry shampoo, Batiste. Ooh, this one is a cheap one, but a good one. Like I said before, you should be washing your hair. You know, I recommend at least once a week. Two times a week is probably like the best of all if you're suffering from hair loss. Also washing your hair makes it appear fuller because you're losing those oils and your hair is more fluffed up and it is not weighed down. So you definitely do want to be shampooing your hair if you're suffering from hair loss or you have thinning hair. I think that is important. But if you want to prolong the life in between washes, we all know a dry shampoo is great for that. Just use it like once or twice between washes though. Do not use it too much. You don't want to overdo it because what you can do is put too much product on your scalp. If you put way too much powder and product on your scalp and don't wash your hair for like two weeks, your hair follicle is not gonna be able to grow out of that. Let's keep those impurities to a minimum and keep it nice and clean for as long as possible without putting an overload of dry shampoo but dry shampoo is still great and still can help strengthen your hair fiber by letting that hair sit in those natural oils for a little bit longer in between washes. I also found this product called Thicker Fuller Hair. It seems to have really great ingredients and a good idea behind it. I've never actually used it. It has a lot of really great oils in it that are great for your scalp and a cleansing shampoo can be a great option for people with fine or thinning hair because it's not gonna overly strip your hair of its natural nutrients, but it is going to get it clean. Switching to something like a cleansing shampoo can be great for people with hair loss so you're not taking those nutrients out that are so good for your hair and for promoting hair growth. This also prevents your hair from getting too dry. If you have very very dry hair try something like this or try something like a hydrating shampoo because very dry hair can often split and become broken and brittle and we don't want that. This is one that I actually was like should I pick this up or should I not? I find this very interesting though and I feel like a lot of people don't realize that dandruff, psoriasis, psoriasis and eczema on the scalp can actually prevent your hair from growing properly in severe cases. So if you have any kind of dry scalp, consider something like salicylic acid shampoo. You can get skin buildup on your scalp. This unclogs your hair follicle and prevents oil buildup. So this is a great thing to use once in a while just to make sure your scalp is free of all impurities and really clean. That way you can grow lustrous, shiny, thick, healthy hair. Let's talk about some accessories, shall we? This one is kind of an obvious one. I'll go through this quick. This is a microfiber towel. If you are seriously thinning and a lot of hair is coming out when you dry it on a towel, please use a microfiber towel. So good to just be really, really gentle on your hair and these will prevent any excess hair loss due to rough towels and going like this. Don't go like this with a towel either. If you have hair loss, just blot the hair. That will be great for you. I have a love-hate relationship with these things. I don't know what that says. Scoon Scoonsy spirals scrunchy? I don't know. I think they're absolutely hideous, but if you're going to the gym or like something casual, sure, why not? I know that these really are nice on the hair, especially the ones that are not matte, like the shiny ones. The glossier material does not pull on your hair at all. These are just great for people with fine thinning hair because they don't pull. They're not going to add any more stress on your hair than needed, and it's just a great little item so that your hair stays intact and doesn't get pulled on at all throughout the day, even if you're wearing it in a ponytail. Because ponytails can be really stressful for the hair. Let's talk about a satin bonnet. I see a lot of people getting satin pillowcases or silk pillowcases and like, I don't like the way they look. So for me, like a satin bonnet is just so much better. Also, when you're sleeping, if you turn side to side and toss around all the time, you know that you wake up with matted hair underneath your head or on top and it gets really wild and people often comb it and brush it really, really hard in the morning. It's not good. Let's prevent that because what can be happening is your hair can literally be snapping 
thinning while you're sleeping, okay? People with thinning hair often don't have strong hair. So if you want that hair to stay intact, let's make sure we are protecting our hair while we sleep. That way it's not all tangled in the morning and we have to rip it out with a brush. Not a good idea. This also just helps your style last longer because you have it all in this bonnet and it's staying nice and fresh all through the night. This soft material makes sure your hair doesn't get too tangled while you're sleeping. They're just a great useful tool and super easy to use and a super easy way to make sure your hair is not getting pulled out. We have a little medication moment. Ooh, ah. This is a minoxidil treatment 2%. Minoxidil can be really effective for a lot of people, but not everybody, okay? It does not work on everybody. I am the person who doesn't really do anything on, but this can really affect your hair growth in a great way. It basically shortens the resting phase of your hair and speeds up the process of growing new follicles. You do have to use this every single day. You have to put it right on your scalp. It's a little annoying, but it can be really effective. And this has been studied heavily and there's been clinical trials. We do know it's actually effective on a lot of people. So if you're suffering from severe hair loss or a thinning hairline, this can be really great for you. But beware that if you stop using it, the effects will go away. So you must routinely use this forever if you want to maintain the results. And lastly, we have a multivitamin. However, however, first of all, I wanna say, this is one that you need to consult with your doctor about and get tests for. I just picked up a multivitamin for an example of something you could take, but you could be definitely deficient in vitamins or you could have hormonal problems going on. This might not be something that you actually have, but you should consult with a doctor to see if these things are affecting your hair loss and then go out and get the vitamin that you need. I know a lot of people out there, maybe you, do not have a proper diet or they're getting the nutrients they need in order to help their hair grow properly, and then you are deficient in some vitamin, it really won't be a good combination. So let's get the vitamins we need, and uh, these are easy to find at the drugstore, obviously, and um, it's a good thing to have for growing your hair. I would say that was a successful mission to the drugstore, and we found a lot of great items. I hope that helps you and helps prevent more hair loss and helps you recover some of the already lost hair. I know how much hair means to so many people, especially me, so please do yourself a favor and adopt a healthy hair care routine with all the necessary items to prevent excess hair loss and regrow new hair. I hope I helped. Make sure you guys check out my hair care or my hair color line. It is called Xmondo. You can go to xmondohair.com or click the link right below to check out our products. And that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.